Hello, my name is Andy, and I am the Village Idiot, and I'm armed with a car and a GoPro, and I've still got that unhealthy amount of time on my hands, you know. Welcome back to the district of Newark and Sherwood in Nottinghamshire yet again. And I'm stood at the northern end of a linear village within a parish which shares a boundary with the district of West Lindsay in Lincolnshire. And that will become important as we go on through this video because I'd like to correct a mistake I made in a previous West Lindsay episode. We'll get to that later. As you can see, there it is. There is the linear village, the one road which runs from north to south. And I've already walked from the south up here to the north and I'm about to walk from the north back to the south to pick up the car. Let's see what we can find in the parish of Thorny. Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Thorny is a village and civil parish about two and a half miles southwest of Saxelby in the Newark and Sherwood district in the county of Nottinghamshire. In 2011, the parish had a population of 248. It has borders with Wigsley, Kettlethorpe, Newton on Trent, Saxelby with Ingleby, Harby, North Clifton, South Clifton, and Hardwick. It's another linear village, a little larger than Wigsley, and this time with no major bends in the road. There are six listed buildings in Thorny. Looking at some of the properties here, you can see why that's the case. This is a pretty little village in truth, one which holds a fair amount of character. It sits on the same tongue of land as Wigsley does, which stretches into Lincolnshire and once comprised the three townships of Thorny, Broadome and Wigsley. It should not be confused with another village in England with the same name. That would be Thorny near Peterborough in Cambridgeshire. Its eastern boundary is Ox Pasture Drain, and there's a point where the three parishes of Harby, Thorny and Wigsley all meet, and that's shown in today's picture bit. The name Thorny means enclosure of thorn trees. Thorny was recorded in the Doomsday Book as Torn's Hay. Whilst Thorny Parish also included the townships of Broadome and Wigsley, they both became separate parishes in 1866. Since then, Broadome has transferred to Lincolnshire. Iron Age, Bronze Age and Roman settlements have been found here. There was a Saxon settlement in around 500 AD. The village formed part of the lands of the Bishop of Lincoln, and the township once contained a sizeable 2,380 acres of land. I don't think there's any doubting that Thorny has got quite a few properties which are, shall we say, very grand. Behind me is one such example. That's Thorny House. Can't see much because of the gates. Trust me, it's a big house. Legend has it that local people asked to settle here in around 662 AD, and the place at that time was known as Anne Carrig, or the Island of the Hermits. That's because the village was built upon a low island in a swampy fen that was about five meters high. The surrounding fens were drained in the 17th century. I couldn't tell you if that was the doing of our favorite Dutchman, but it seems plausible as we aren't too far away from where he was known to be active. In 1853, the manor belonged to Reverend Christopher Neville, but was previously owned by the Neville family. The parish was part of the Newark Wapentake. The Reverend Christopher Neville resided in the hall, a neat modern mansion near the church. Thorny is mentioned in the Doomsday Book without any reference to a church, but there is one here now. Thorny used to have lands on the western side of the Trent River too, but after a deanery judgment in 1301, the parish surrendered 
all of those holdings. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'd like to correct a mistake that I made in a West Lindsay episode. Thorny shares a border with West Lindsay. It shares a border with the parish of Kettlethorpe. And if you haven't seen that episode, I will link it in the end card of this video. Now in that episode, I mentioned Drinsey Nook, which is the small hamlet right on the border between Lincolnshire and Nottinghamshire. Now, technically speaking, what I said was right in that episode that Drinsey Nook is within Kettlethorpe, but it's also within Thorny because what I didn't realize was the boundary cuts right through the middle of the hamlet. So part of Drinsey Nook is actually in the parish of Thorny, as opposed to being wholly within the parish of Kettlethorpe. Just thought I'd correct that mistake for you there. And if you want to get to Drinsey Nook from here, all you have to do is drive up that road there. Let's go for some demographics next. Thorny has a population density of 25.93, with its population spread across an area of 9.1 square kilometres. There's a lot of over 65s here, that figure is almost 40%. It does seem a nice place to retire to in fact. Only one person here identifies as anything other than white British. And in terms of the average house price here, there's no data available for the last 12 months. Recent valuations are around the £400,000 mark though. I've actually run out of blue tack here, so a bit of a hit and miss thing was whether this will actually stick on the board or not, we'll see. No, not there. Oh, there we are. Got it in. Now in terms of what the village has for its locals and its visitors, there isn't really a lot in truth. There used to be a school which is now gone, but we do still have a playground. There are no shops in Thorny, nor are there any pubs. There used to be a pub in the parish at Drinsey Nook, named the Buffalo Head. Services wise, we still have a post box. And there's a phone box too, although this one doesn't have a working telephone. Rather, this is the location of the village's defib machine. Thorny is another village which is in a demand responsive area when it comes to a local bus service. If you need one though, it's the 367 once again that runs through the area. Let's have a look at Thorny's main religious building now. A church dedicated to St Helen had certainly been established by the beginning of the 13th century here. In 1201, Walter de Clifford and his wife Agnes granted Thorny Church and 30 acres of land belonging to it to Brodome Priory. St Helens appears to be the only church in Nottinghamshire appropriated to Brodome, though the Priory also held a variety of small temporalities in Lincolnshire. A description of Thorny Church was provided in 1796 and it recorded that it comprised a low brick tower with two bells, a nave and a side aisle. Nicholas Pevsner commented that the architect of Thorny St Helens was better known for his writing than his buildings and described the church as a sumptuous ham-fisted Norman exterior with west facade. The church he describes though is not this one. This is a rebuilding of the original church. Presumably the old one became too dilapidated. There's a little more to be said about the church in terms of landmarks. The gate and gate posts are war memorials. They'd be pretty easy to miss if it wasn't for the poppies. The present church dates from 1850. In the churchyard you can find some old remnants of the earlier 15th century building. They come in the form of these arches, which are the former arcade. The church also has some fragments of the original building within it. Perhaps part of the drainage system of the surrounding Fenland, there are plenty of these small streams running through the village, particularly to the north of it. And in terms of water-based features, we have a fishing lake or two in fact. These are part of the lakeside touring caravan site. The site houses two large fishing lakes, a variety of woodland walks, a secure dog exercise field, and of course, plenty of pitches for caravans. It's a nice spot this.
Okay, that's pretty much the walk up and down Thorny Village. And today we are gonna have a picture bit because Thorny Parish covers quite a wide area around the village. And I'm really just walking from one end of the village to the other and not covering any of that with the camera. So as such, here's today's picture bit. And I'm back at the fishing lakes to the south of Thorny where this video began and this is where it's going to end. It's time for me to move on to my next one here in Newark and Sherwood which is not too far away and I'll see you there. This has been the parish of Thorny in Newark and Sherwood and I've been Andy also known as the Village Idiot and I'm out. Mm -hmm.